this is the fourth sum and we carry on the same method we separate the coefficients from the variables so 5 is a coefficient this is our variable 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 is a coefficient y minus 2 is a variable is equal to 2 now here again 6 coefficient x minus 1 variable 3 coefficient 1 over y minus 2 variable equal to 1 then we say let 1 by x minus 1 be equal to p and 1 over y minus 2 be equal to q now we need to substitute so for this 1 by x minus 1 we are going to put p here and uh, here for 1 over y minus 2 we will put q again here we will substitute for this is our p we have taken it as p and this part we have taken it as q so now equations will become 5p plus 1q equals 2 and the next equation 6p is draw a line minus 3q is equal to 1. For this we will try to equate for y. So look at y. The coefficient here is 1 and here is 3. So LCM 1 comma 3 is 3. So my first equation that is 5p plus 1q is equal to 2. I have to multiply this by 3 because I need to make the 1 as 3. I'm making both the coefficients as 3. And the next one is Cp minus 3q equals to 1. This I multiply by 1 because the coefficient is already 3. So open the bracket 15p plus 3q equals to 2. And here 6p minus 3q equals to 1. I will mark this this equation is 3 and this equation is 4. Here however this equation will be 1 and this will be 2. Now both my equations are ready for subtraction. Here is a mistake I've made. This should be 6. 3 into 2 is 6. So here 2 it should be 6. And now when I change the sign, I don't need to change the sign here because this cancels off as it is. So I'm adding the equations. And when I add the equations, I get 21p equals 7. p equals to 7 by 21. p equals 1 by 3. Now it's time for me to find the value of q. To find the value of q, I will take up the first equation and put the value of p and hence find the value of q. So here we have 5p, or oh, the p I know is 1 by 3, so I have p uh, 5 and for the p I am going to put 1 by 3 because I have found the value here, p equal to 1 by 3 and I continue plus q equals 2, so 5 by 3 plus q equals 2 and we will continue it here. So q equal to 2 minus 5 by 3, q equal to LCM 3, 6 minus 5, so q equal to 1 by 3. Now we found the values of both. We found p as 1 by 3 and we found q as also 1 by 3. If you remember, we had taken p as 1 over x minus 1 and q as 1 over y minus 2. So now for p, I'm going to write 1 over x minus 1 equal to 1 by 3. And our q we had taken as 1 over y minus 2 equal to q. Cross multiply, 3 equal to x minus 1. So the x will be 4 and here, here we need to put 1 by 3 and here we have 3 equal to y minus 2, y equal to 5. So answer 4 and 5. 
Hope you've understood this step. For p, for the value of p, I have put 1 over x minus 1 because that is what I had taken in the beginning. And the value of q, we had taken it as 1 over y minus 2 right in the beginning. So basically we have resubstituted here for the values we had taken earlier.